Let's be honest, most AI generated designs suck. But what if I told you ChatGPT5 helped me create designs that actually sell? Like this one right here, fully AI generated, and it pulled in over $14,000 in sales in the last 30 days alone on my personal brand. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I use ChatGPT5 to generate t-shirt designs like that one without wasting time, no expensive designers, and zero design skills needed. Let's get into it. Now, I believe that most people think that designing with AI is really easy because of the fact that no design skills are required. We can make more designs faster than we've ever done before. We can save money not having to hire any designers and we can save time not having to learn new softwares or even how to design like with Canva and Photoshop. Or so I think most people think because this is kind of how I feel after I will show you my full design system. To start off and get great AI design outputs, we need to define our goal. We need to define our niche, our audience, the outcome that we want to personally have from that design. We then need to research bestsellers, note winning patterns, keep those winning patterns in mind as we are then designing those designs. We need to check for trends versus evergreen potential, create design briefs. Then we need to run it through a check and make sure that there's no IP or copyright issues with that specific design. If there are, then we need to go right back up to the top and start redoing some things. So if yes, it's safe to use, we don't have IP or copyright issues, we then need to make make sure that all of our specific technical setups are correct. We need to sketch three to five ideas to make sure that it's even a good idea to go with in the first place. We need to choose the typography based off of design and research. We need to apply negative space, establish visual hierarchy, blah, blah, blah. Like it goes on and on, as you can see. And all of that just to get one t-shirt design. <laughs> a lot of steps. So the same steps that we were doing when we were designing with Canva or Photoshop, just minus the busy work of having to actually play and manipulate with that design. But we still have to keep it in mind when we are prompting for ChatGPT5 to generate these high quality designs. And this got me thinking, how exactly could I automate this tedious system? Because as you can see, there's a lot of steps that we need to be thinking about as a seller, especially if you want high quality AI designs and not just AI junk. I think you can understand what I'm talking about. Those designs that have just like a big block square of just ink. There's no negative space from the t-shirt coming through. It just looks like a square of ink threw up on a t-shirt. Those are the kind of designs that we want to avoid at all costs. So it got me thinking, how exactly could I automate that long, tedious system? And this is what I did. I went to ChatGPT. The only thing that we need now in our lives to literally do anything. And I took that huge long design system and I combined that with ChatGPT and basically said, hey, here's how I think about generating high quality t-shirt designs. Here's my step-by-step -step process. Turn this into a prompt. And this is the prompt that ChatGPT gave me. Now I could give you this entire prompt for you to copy and paste every single time you were about to design a t-shirt design. And it could work, but it would still be tedious. So I decided to do something else instead. And I actually put that entire prompt and created a personal GPT specifically for t-shirt designs. So if you're a seller who is trying to create designs to put on your Shopify store or put onto Etsy, this will help you generate print on demand specific designs for t-shirts based off of that entire huge long system. And I wanted to show you some of the examples that I got from it. So it starts off really simple. You can honestly just pick one of these buttons and say, I want to do just a graphic or just a text design or a graphic plus text design, or I have literally no ideas. So that's how you can start any of your, those prompts without having to type anything into the bar. Now, here are some of the examples that I got. I simply said, create a best selling design in the dog niche. Very vague. I gave literally no context on purpose. And from there, ChatGPT asked, do I want a specific design? Typography, graphic, typography plus graphic. Tell me what you're thinking. And so I replied back and said, I want typography. From there, ChatGPT went out and actually did research. It looks at Etsy, looks at Amazon, looks across Google, and starts to do some research on some of the best selling typography designs, specifically in the dog niche. And from there, it gave me five different ideas to choose from. 
So it asks, do I want the saying, life is better with a dog or less people, more dogs? Handle every situation like a dog. Tell your dog I said hi and dog hair is my glitter. So all great sayings that I think anybody who is obsessed with dogs would probably agree with and would connect with any of those typography designs. And so for this case, I selected number two. And all I did was say two, like I didn't even say less people, more dogs. I just wrote the number two in the bar. And from there, it gave me this, less people, more dogs, boom. Perfect typography, I think very simple, would pop off of any Facebook ad. Overall, I give this design a 10 out of 10. I think it completely nailed it. I think it picked a great font based off of research, kept it nice and simple. But again, I think it just works with the person like that I imagine wearing this shirt. <laughs> Someone who's like a little antisocial, like they don't want a shirt that's going to really like stand out and catch somebody's attention. It's kind of like one of those things, like they want like the side eye and then have somebody like chuckle and be like, hey, great shirt. Like that's the type of person that I visualize wearing this design. Now I wanna stop here for a second because if you want this GPT, if you're maybe struggling with prompting and getting really high quality outputs like this, I don't wanna keep it all for myself. I wanna share it with as many people as I possibly can because I want everybody to be successful with print on demand. Now, if you're somebody who's interested in using this GPT, it is your lucky day because I am giving it out to everybody who's watching this video. If you click the link in the description below, I will send it right to you. You'll gain access to this GPT. You can bookmark the GPT so it'll keep it in the left sidebar on ChatGPT. That way you don't have to keep coming back and looking for it. But click the link in the description below to get started with it. Now let's look at example number two. This one, I went a completely different niche because I wanna show you that this GPT works across every single niche. I want you to create a best-selling yoga niche design that is a graphic with typography. So we want a graphic with some text. Again, ChatGPT goes out, it does its research, and then it says, it gives me some options of what I would want to choose. From there, I picked find your center design. And this was the design that ChatGPT came up with, which honestly, I think is pretty good. It works for a t-shirt. There's plenty of negative space coming through that design. Background's already removed. So I could totally see this kind of like Zen type of design. And like, I think it works that it's not completely white. Like it's not gonna pop off or like jump off of the page. But like, I could totally see a yogi wearing like this kind of design specifically on like a military green shirt. Like something that's like just good energy, organic type of feel. Like that's totally the vibe that I get from this design. So overall, I think ChatGPT5 did an awesome job with it. Now let's go to example three. Again, I decided to completely switch up the niche again and do golf. So I said, create a best-selling design for the golf niche, pull inspiration from the master's logo because you kind of get that like yellow and that pop of green. And I think that could be something really interesting to include in the design. Now it did give me important, hey, we actually can't use the master's trademarked logo because it has IP stuff. So you don't even have to worry about like, oh man, am I gonna get in trouble if I go and make this design? No, this GPT is running it through an entire check for you to make sure like we're not breaking any big rules. So right off the bat, it's saying, hey, here's what we can kind of do to utilize, take inspiration from that logo, but we can't do anything specific with it. Now it gave me a nice five examples to choose from again. And I chose the 19th hole example because the fact it's kind of funny. It's like that one extra hole, like you just go and have a few drinks with your buddies afterwards. And I thought it was just like really fitting. Like, I don't know if I could potentially see this like on a big front of the t-shirt. I could totally see it with like the brand's logo on the left chest, like my logo is right here with a nice big print on the back. And I think this is just fitting. Like it catches your eye. It's kind of funny. I think it's a little different too, because I feel like most golf shirts, they like to use green text. So this one's just a little bit different. Like if it were on maybe a Irish green colored shirt, that yellow would really pop out. Kind of get the vibe of like the masters because it's like that yellow and that green with the hint of red from the flag. But honestly, I think that this design works really well. Again, perfectly designed for a t-shirt, background's already been removed. So this one gets a win for me again. Now, finally, example four, I said, okay, let's make a best-selling design for the pickleball niche. Let's completely change it up again. ChatGPT asks me what kind of design I wanna make. I said, do a graphic plus typography, and this is what it gave me. 
Drink responsibly. So overall, I think it's funny because the fact it's like drink responsibly, but it's dink responsibly. Text pops off. They picked a great typography to use. There's not too much going on using a few different colors and variations, but enough to catch the eye, but not too much for it to feel really overwhelming and too much happening in the design. Again, it's on a transparent background, completely ready to be uploaded into your shop. Now, before I go and wrap everything up, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Printify. When we are using GPTs like this to help create designs, we need to have an easy to use platform to bring those designs to life. And I can't suggest anybody more than Printify. Not only does Printify help millions of sellers get started with print on demand, but they have the best pricing in the entire industry. I am constantly searching at other platforms to find the best pricing that I can possibly find because truly what matters at the end of the day is my bottom line and my profit margin. And to this day, I have yet to find any Anybody that can either match or beat Printify's pricing. Now, not only is the pricing amazing, but Printify also gives you so much control over your business. If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you can understand how much I love being able to control every single aspect of my brand. It's something that I think is so important when it comes to building a business, something that the marketplaces just don't let you do. Printify allows you to do that. They give you access to selecting your own print provider so that you can determine who exactly you want to work with. You're not locked into just general printers who will ship from all over the place. You can hand select which printer that you would want to work with based off of their rating, based off of their shipping speeds, based off of their pricing. This gives you so much control over your business, but they also have flexibility. So if for some reason your printer is out of stock, you can reroute that design and that t-shirt to a completely other printer to make sure that your customer is getting that design as quickly as possible. Again, I can't recommend anybody more than Printify. So if you're interested in getting started, I've put a link in the description below that takes you to their site and you can use the code WeScale to get one free month of Printify Premium for free, which will lock you into the best pricing that you can get on Printify's platform. Definitely check them out if you're interested and in the market. Now, before we wrap everything up, I just wanted to say a few things about these designs. This was with very minimal prompting or really direction from myself as a user. So if you're somebody who's brand new, you should be able to put in very minimal words or prompts to get really great outputs. Now, it's always important to continue to do your research beyond this, look for best-selling designs to get an idea of or an eye for what makes a design a really good design, specifically in your niche. That way you can be prompting and helping this GPT get better and better over time. All of this is based off of my system that I run through every time I'm sitting down and creating designs for my personal brand. I can't guarantee that you'll get a best-selling design that brings in $14,000 a month. Month. That's always my hope for everybody who, you know, is watching any of my videos and trying out our GPT that we've created based off of this system. But it takes a lot of time, it takes iteration, and it takes practice to learn and understand what truly makes a design a best selling design. If you enjoyed this video, you're looking for more kind of tutorials of GPTs, how you can automate a lot of parts of your print on demand business, then please like and subscribe to my channel. It would absolutely mean the world to me. And if you're interested in grabbing this GPT, don't forget to click the link in the description below and I'll send it right over to you. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.